But first, the growing war between Israel and Hamas continues to impact communities across the country, including Albuquerque. People on high alert after a local synagogue got a bomb scare over the weekend, and today there are calls for de-escalation. Action 7 News reporter Andres Valle joins us live now from a demonstration. And Andres, the group is asking for a ceasefire in the war. Hey, Ron Darlene, that's right. That group is made up of Jewish and Palestinian backgrounds and other allies who just say they want peace in the Middle East. Now, the groups are their demonstration right here at this park in downtown Albuquerque, but just started marching down central in downtown Albuquerque as the tensions between Israel and Hamas continues to grow. A bomb threat over the weekend at a Messianic Jewish synagogue, putting members of the Jewish community on high alert across Albuquerque. So we were about 10 minutes after services were over, and I started seeing some police come in from their front door, and uh, it was, you know, a little um, not shocking. I didn't know what was going on. Albuquerque police saying that an anonymous caller expressed negative sentiments toward Israel and that a time bomb would go off at the synagogue. It's, pretty, it's very disturbing because we, we've been in existence for 43 years, and the... Um, We've never had any any threats uh, for that for as long as we've been in existence. As the war between Israel and Hamas continues, APD wants to ensure the safety of those who could be impacted by what is going on in the Middle East here at home. And we did reach out, our area commanders reached out to other Jewish synagogues throughout the city. As you know, we've been stepping up patrols and keeping an eye on them. We wanted to let, let them know about this situation here and see if anything was well, suspicious. Uh, was going on at their synagogues. Congregations like B'nai Israel stepping up security on the weekends. That's when they see the most people at their synagogue for worship services. We are always vigilant when something like this happens. You know, if, if something happens uh, to, an, to a Jewish community elsewhere outside of the country or outside of Albuquerque or, or New Mexico, we still remain vigilant and make sure that you know, we have the appropriate security measures for our community that we need to have. And Cantor Angris from Benai Israel, who you just heard from, did let me know that they're also fundraising to beef up their security at their congregation. Meanwhile, Rabbi Shapiro from the other uh, congregation that had that bomb threat is also beefing up their security ahead of this weekend services. As far as the group that's uh, currently marching down central here in downtown Albuquerque, well, you'll hear from them coming up at 5 o'clock. But for now, reporting in downtown Albuquerque, I'm Andres Valle for KOET Action 7 News. Andres, thank you. APD says no other local threats related to the Hamas-Israel conflict have been reported so far. <laughs>